Global environmental concerns, resource scarcity, and economic challenges are forcing companies to rethink their approaches to water, energy, and material use, waste management, and emission control. At the same time, the rising cost of energy and water means that South African industry is facing growing challenges in their efforts to remain profitable and to contribute to economic growth and job creation. To address this challenge, the CSR hosts a national program that helps industry to implement resource efficiency and cleaner production methodologies. The program is called the National Cleaner Production Center South Africa and the CSIR has been hosting it on behalf of the Department of Trade and Industry for more than a decade. Our experts provide advice and support to industry addressing four areas, namely energy, water, waste and materials. They visit companies to identify areas where improvements can be made to production processes in order to save costs and resources. Due to the energy crisis and rising costs of electricity, the center had a strong focus on energy since 2010. Together with the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, it has implemented the Industrial Energy Efficiency Project. In the past five years, over 150 larger companies or plants and 220 small and medium enterprises have participated in the program. 1.8 terawatt hours of energy have been saved. This is enough to electrify 250,000 MIGL income South African household for a year. It also translates into a financial saving of 1.5 billion rand and emission mitigation of 1.7 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent. One of the industrial energy efficiency project's first participants was Toyota South Africa's plant in Durban. In their first year of participation in 2011, the plant saved around 4.5 million rand through various energy projects. By 2015, through a process of continuous improvement, that figure had grown to over 25 million rand. Aslo Metals Saldana Steel Works was scheduled for closure in 2010 when the chief engineer signed up to become an industrial energy efficiency expert. Through an energy management system and with an initial investment of only half a million rand, the plant saved over 76 million rand in energy in six months. Today, Saldana Steel Works has saved almost 280 million rand in energy. Industry is one of the main users of water in South Africa and many industries also produce wastewater that needs treatment before being deposited into the environment. The National Cleaner Production Center now aims to use the methodologies and lessons of the Industrial Energy Efficiency Project to tackle the growing water crisis. The beverage bottling plant at ABI Premier Place in Guazulu Natal reduced its water consumption by 12%, saving 7 million liters in only three months in 2015. The company saved 190,000 rand for an investment of only 32,000 rand and stands to contribute 42,000 kiloliters in saved water in a drought-stricken part of South Africa. Often, one company's waste becomes another company's raw material. This allows for synergy between companies, referred to as industrial symbiosis, a process which allows for waste management that makes both environmental and business sense. The National Cleaner Production Center's Industrial Symbiosis Program diverts large volumes of waste from landfill. It helps some companies to reduce the use of virgin input materials and others to save on waste disposal costs. The center helps to connect companies that are able to do waste swapping in Gauteng, KwaZulu-Natal, 
and the Western Cape. It linked a Gauteng plastic recycling company, AJ Polis Cycling, to nine companies that needed to dispose of various plastic waste in late 2015. Within only three months, the nine sites saved more than 1.6 million rand in waste disposal costs. Industry will not be able to transition to cleaner, more resource efficient methods without the oversight and support of suitably skilled people. The National Cleaner Production Center has a department focused on the development of these skills. Through its internship program, the center places engineering graduates in participating companies for a period of 12 months to evaluate and monitor energy, water, and material usage, as well as waste management, while being mentored by industry experts. Over 2,500 professionals have been trained in energy and resource efficiency at a technical level and 120 have gone on to qualify as internationally certified experts in energy efficiency. The center will continue and build on its approach of raising awareness, building capacity and offering expert technical support to implement resource efficiency and cleaner production in industry.